In Israel, there is one near universal experience that unites almost all citizens, the draft. At the age of 16, Israeli teenagers receive a letter telling them to prepare to be drafted at 18. These ceremonies are just part of growing up in Israel. I've been looking forward to this day for a long time. I believe that this kind of service can challenge me and prepare me for real life. The army can give me tools to deal with things that I have not dealt with so far. The army isn't just about defense. It's often a social ladder for making connections or for learning a trade. Many leave the military to positions in high tech or a skilled trade. Near universal does not include everyone. For Israel's developmentally disabled, a rejection letter is often all they can expect. People with special needs are coming to the induction center and they are giving them a relief letter that says the same thing, but you are not going to be part of the Israeli army. And that means no support network, no connections, no protection. All for the most vulnerable members of society, least able to look after themselves. For them and their families, it's a cold shock. Three steps or three stages are in their mind mostly. First is what is going to be in the future. At the age of 18, all his friends will go to the army. What will happen with my kid? When he graduates, will he find jobs? Will he be independent? And later on, what is going to be with my son when I won't be here to support him? But there are ways for Israel's disabled to find a place in the military, even if the journey is a little harder than most. This is not your average Israeli military induction ceremony. The emotions are high, but they're very happy ones because parents here are seeing that their children have succeeded. Every last soldier being inducted today is a soldier with serious developmental disabilities. They're on the spectrum or they have some form of mental disability that would normally have prevented them from entering the army. They have succeeded with the help of an organization called Special in Uniform, which sees a sacred duty to ensure every Israeli has a chance to be part of the nation's traditions and culture. We, especially in uniform, are trying to give some kind of a holistic solution to, this, to those challenges. So we are starting at the ages of 16, when they are getting that letter and starting to work with the, the students or the, the candidates during their stay at the high school. The group has powerful backers dedicated to making sure they succeed. We see it as a right and a privilege to be involved in society this way, particularly in this project. The end result? This separate ceremony where roughly 20 developmentally disabled young men and women walk down the carpet as soldiers, fully part of the Israeli experience. I wanted to join the military because it's very important for my Israel and it's also very important that I enjoy the army and make lots of friends and it's important also that I enjoy it. Each one had to work for it. It wasn't just given to them. Soldiers like Paz Chase have spent more than a year and a half volunteering with the army to get where he is now. A member of the logistics division of Israel's Home Front Command. He's doing well, he's one of the best, uh, everyone is proud of him and uh, we are proud of the moment and this is a really exciting and uh, happy uh, minute for us. They are not relegated to symbolic roles either. They serve in regular military units alongside the average soldiers, whatever their abilities will allow for. The IDF is a very special military that on one hand utilizes forces but does not neglect that there is a spiritual component. It means taking society's weakest link and making it stronger to make them feel as if they are among equals. And so they leave the ceremony among equals, soldiers of the IDF, each and every one, their fate and the nation's intertwined. <laughs>